What's up guys, it's your boy Nathaniel Messiah. So, today's video, as you saw by the title, we're gonna be going through my full diet whilst at school to gain muscle. So, typically in the mornings, I start off pretty light only because I don't really have much time. So, I start off usually with a protein brownie to finish the day, but yeah. So, that's from my protein. If you want anything else for my protein, you can use my code next 35 But anyways, yeah, school time now. I'm not late, but if I keep talking to you, I will be late. So I'm gonna get going, catch you guys afterwards. And yeah, also make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you like these full day of eating videos, make sure you let me know if you want me to do more of them. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where it all goes down. That's what I post every day, so yeah. If I use present, then this prevents the expression. All right, guys, so first meal of the day, first proper meal of the day, I had, as you saw, those hash browns, the eggs, and the sausage and the beans from, from the calf near my school. I typically actually go home and make breakfast, but I was there with my friends, and uh, we wanted to, you know, talk and chill for a bit. And, yeah, so sometimes it's, like, obviously the breakfast that I get from, ca from the calf is not, like, exactly what I would typically have, but it's not incredibly far off. I can vary. I would usually have some like form of eggs and toast and like, like a protein sauce. I'd usually have um, turkey, rashers, but you can switch up a little bit. You don't have to be so regimented every day. And because essentially also, this is a bulk and um, bulking, um, lean bulking that is, there's a little bit more flexibility than say if I was cutting uh, because I've got like some more macros to deal with. Also, just letting you guys know like my stats and stuff right now. Right now, I'm 80, around 87 kilos. I'm eating around about 3,000 calories for my training days. Maybe a bit less on my off days, maybe say 2,800. Um, I'm lighter than I was last year, like maybe six kilos lighter, but I'm actually eating about the same amount because I feel like I'm a lot more muscular and also leaner than last year. So, but yeah, because of my different body composition now, because I'm a bit more, have a bit more muscle, so I'm a bit less fat I can eat a little bit more calories because my body actually like needs it so I've been maintaining my weight and my body fat percentage decently well and slowly putting on size so yeah in today's video you're not gonna be seeing like a crazy bulk again it's probably around the 3,000 calorie mark which is also a bit more relatable for you guys because you'll see a lot of guys doing like crazy bulk say 5,000 6,000 calories but those are usually ectomorphs guys who are naturally really skinny and they're trying to put on weight whereas you know someone like me I'd say I'm more of a mesomorph even maybe slightly more on the endomorphic side I put on weight quite easily so yeah uh anyways we're gonna go home now i finished my first lesson i'm gonna go home and study for a bit uh probably have like a like a snack or something because after that breakfast i'm not gonna be extremely hungry at this point um but then i have school at two and then i don't get back home to probably around four so i don't want to go that whole time about eating so yeah I'll, I'll show you guys when we get there but yeah typical school day i've got a training session later uh what i'm gonna it's almost it's almost like a full body workout i've got squats then i'm gonna train some back and a little bit of shoulders and stuff so yeah we've got we've got a full day ahead of us and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video Alright guys, so there's 20 minutes and 20 to be back at school. I'm not actually that hungry yet, but I don't want to wait until 4 to eat anything. So, I'm going to have some of my proteins clear whey isolate. Okay, this stuff is really good. It mixes in and tastes like juice pretty much, but it's got 20 grams of protein per scoop. So, I'm going to have about 2 scoops of this, then go to school. I've got my second lesson, come back and then have another solid meal. Uh, so, yeah, just been studying and stuff. A lot of people ask questions like, are protein shakes... Um, necessary to build muscle not so that's no but they're just a convenient way to get some protein in throughout the day uh, to meet your protein requirements there's nothing magical about protein shakes i for most of the time that i've been weightlifting didn't really use protein shakes or didn't really you know have them um but it's, it's it's just a thing you can add so no you don't need them but they do help so you just get a bit of water and i'm uh this one's almost done Make sure the lid is on securely. One thing with a clear way, you want to shake it, leave it to kind of rest for a little bit for the froth to go down, and then shake it again. And then after that second or third shake, it'll be good. It'll be nice and consistent. Alright guys, so second lesson is done. Now I'm done for the day and I should be done for the week, but my school is making me come in tomorrow for um, some UCAS thing that I have not having finished 
my UCAS application uh, so I need to go and do that but yeah I'm done with lessons for the week so yeah but food yeah food wise right now I will, I usually have some a quick like something more quick and like higher in carbs because this is my meal right before I go to the gym and it's not it's not right before maybe like an hour or two before I go um, but I have some higher carbs so some days I just have cereal other days I'll have oats um, so something like that so today I'm probably gonna have two packets of uh, oats the, the Quaker oats you know the quick ones and then yeah that should be that should be all right and I might have something else maybe a little bit later but yeah for now that's, that's what we're gonna have Alright guys, so here we've got the next meal. We've got two packets of those Quaker roots. I have it with almond milk and then at the end I add a bit of soy milk. It's just something I like to do. I like the taste of soy milk a bit. And a lot, I know a lot of people say that soy milk, you know, um, is like has a feminizing effect and like um, increases estrogen levels. That only happens when you take extreme amounts of it. So the, the study that they did essentially on it that showed that was the equivalent dose of 26 cups of soy milk for humans, what they give to rats. So if you have like one or two cups of soy milk a day, you're absolutely fine. And I barely even had that in this. This is probably like one cup of soy milk. So if that's the amount you're having every day, you're gonna to be totally fine. Anything in the extreme is not good for you in some way or another. So how that manifests itself for soy is, yeah, it has a feminizing effect. If you take, if you have like, you know, drink liters and liters per day, so just don't do that, you'll be fine. snack special K bar alright guys so back to studying for about another 45 minutes for me um, and then I'm gonna go to the gym hit workout do you know what the guys you know you have those days when you're feeling really motivated for your vision for the gym so like that today is not one of those days I have not been feeling pretty motivated today or anything like that but today is when discipline comes in because I get a lot of questions all the time about like how do you stay motivated? And the key is, you don't actually, you don't stay motivated all the time. There's days where you're feeling fluctuate, but the key is discipline. As I said, I've said it many times, motivation is a feeling, discipline is a lifestyle. So if you've essentially trained yourself to do things that you don't like doing over time, it's gonna be easier to do them and you're gonna essentially, well, with David Goggins using the term, callous your mind, you're gonna callous your mind, you're gonna be able to do things that you don't want to do and the more that you do them, the easier it gets and the more you can get yourself into that pain zone. And it's not, it's not even that it gets easier, it's just that you're used to it, you're more comfortable in that position, so. That's why weightlifting is good, not just for your physical health, but also for your mental health because it's, all, it's an exercise in voluntarily being uncomfortable. Uh, like, that sometimes there's nothing more uncomfortable than let's say like a high, high a high rep set of squats or something like that. In lifting, you're purposefully putting yourself into an uncomfortable situation and you know trying to overcome the situation. So it's a really good analogy for life, and it's gonna you know translate into multiple areas of your life when you start getting serious with the gym. So we're coming up to 2021 soon, and if you're on the fence about starting the gym, I'd really recommend it, not just for your physical health but your mental health as well. So enough babbling, let's get to work. Quick interruption, I'm going to take my pre-workout now because I'm probably going to end up working out today at like 8pm and if I wait till then, uh, my pre workouts aren't going to wear off in time for me to go to sleep so, at an appropriate time so, it's um, quarter to 7 now and I'm going to take it now so it will kick in while I'm still revising, which some people actually do, you know, some people take pre-workout to revise. Yeah, it apparently helps them focus or something. But again, I'm not gonna take a lot or anything like that because again, I wanna go to sleep today. But yeah, I'm gonna take it now. It will be coursing through my veins whilst, whilst I am revising, which, you know, has some pros and cons, but either way, yeah, I'm gonna take it now. And yeah, again, I use my protein products all the time. Like, before I was even sponsored by my protein, I use their products 
all the time. So it's not even like artificial when I'm telling you guys like what I'm using and stuff like that. It just so happens that now I'm also sponsored by them. So yeah, my protein is the pre-workout standard. Uh, I'm not gonna. T I'm gonna take probably a three-quarter scoop, and that should do me. So. Yeah. Alright guys, so time has come for me to go to the gym. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting like pretty much almost like a full body session today. Uh, back to my roots and uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy the session. I'm gonna have like a big meal afterwards and uh, yeah, so again, I took my pre-workout feeling ready. Uh, I'm happy that I did my revision because I was not feeling like it, but got it done. I'm not even gonna do some more when I get back, but um, yeah. Year 13, I'm not playing games guys, I'm trying to do as well as I possibly can to cap off school because I feel like if I can manage A-levels, doing one A-levels and YouTube and whatever and all the other stuff I have to do, you know, all my other commitments, then I'll be able to, I think I'll, I think I'll be able to do anything in terms of in the future, like I'll have the, you know, the dedication and drive to do anything because a lot of people find six one by itself really hard, so if I can do that and all the other things then, you know, in the future, who knows what could happen, so... I'm now, it's, it's grind season at the end of the day, it's grind season, it's time to just, you know, keep improving, keep getting better, and yeah, so that's what we're trying to do, let's go into the session on a good note, and yeah, three, two, one.
Alright guys, so I'm home from the gym now and I've come home to an absolutely lovely meal. So, the thing is, I actually usually leave my biggest meal till after the gym and that ends up typically being my last meal. So, right here we've got two chicken breasts on the bone, which are in this nice barbecue sauce. This is actually from the shop up near my house, it's like a, like a grill place. So yeah, it's basically just chicken breast and I've got two of them. Uh, I've got some fries. Someone stole my fries, one of you, my family members definitely stole my fries because there was not the box was like nowhere near full and there would typically be more than this but you know maybe they're trying to say i've been bulking too hard or whatever but you guys saw that posing footage i'm not i'm not really fat right now so I, i'm all right couple cherry tomatoes a bit of cucumber got a bunch of himalayan salt on the fries actually because i've been cramping like crazy like in that last posing footage i was cramping so much so i think i could do with the salt and uh, yeah i'm gonna sit here you know watch a little show or something chill if i really feel like it i might do a little bit more work but then again i've kind of got an off day tomorrow um but yeah so this is my last meal of the day i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed that workout footage as well i didn't do a bunch of exercises today was like filling in the blanks of what i kind of missed out this week or just a couple of extra exercises because i've trained pretty much everything already this week but today was just kind of like you know a couple extra like accessory exercises so yeah that's what today's workout was but it's still intense and uh yeah so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave me a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these four day of eatings i literally haven't done one since all August, which is crazy I used to do them like all the time um, let me know in the comments uh, I might have a little snack or something afterwards I'm not even sure but I've not been too um, fast with my calorie totals for the day because I've been, I've been kind of maintaining my weight and as long as I know as long as I'm doing that and like slowly going up like if from week to week I'm going up by like 0 0.1 0 0.2 of a kilo I know that's fine if I'm going up by too much and I just bring it back if I'm not going up at all then I'll, I'll, I'll add a few more calories so it's all intuitive you don't have to be ultra specific when you don't have a a set goal in mind that like you're not saying oh I'm gonna I'm gonna cut right now I'm gonna go on a huge bulk right now when you're like me and you're like you're trying to gain some muscle but you're trying to do it on a long-term approach counting macros every day is good but not necessary so yeah anyways that's enough of me today hope you enjoyed the video peace